So it seems like uh, Blue Blood Sports TV kind of shook up the boxing community, man, with with his, uh, you can call it breaking news, but in a sense, Bernie the, Brock, Bernie the Boxer pretty much was really talking about that kind of first, you know, a lot of the stuff that um, Blue Blood was saying, but Blue Blood has a big audience, so, you know, he gonna have a more of an effect on things. So he came out, you know, everybody already know. He said he ran into Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford said, uh, kind of pressed him and was like, listen, I ain't holding up this fight. It's PBC. Um, you know, I I did everything they asked. I, you know, I pretty much decided to take whatever they wanted to give and I'm waiting on them. You know, uh, the way I look at it is, also well, blue blood he kind of tried to like cover for arrow space kind of tried to like make it seem like arrow have nothing to do with it everything is just a pbc but then like i said in the past arrow space was the one saying he's his own boss so he's the one that gets every he's his own boss and he gets to really make decisions right also um terrence crawford even got on stage i forgot at where it was that it was at a conference and he asked the dude um Fuck, I forgot who it was. Was that Espinosa up there? I think it was. Um, he's like, yo, listen. Like, who makes, who's, resp- like, if the fighters want to fight, they going to fight, right? So, pretty much, everybody confirming that. Errol said, after the Ugas fight, we going to see who's holding up the fight, right? Then he was saying early on, like, sending little, um, you know, those little pack, those little memes and shit he was sending of, Bob Sapp and Tyson uh, in the ring signed a contract, big boy. Remember that? Basically saying Terrence Crawford needed to sign a contract. Bernie the Boxer's like, what contract? That was a while ago. A few months ago, Bernie had said that too. Then he said that on the recent live, what contract? And then now it comes out, Terrence Crawford is saying, yeah, look, we agreed to terms. I agreed to his terms and everything like that. Meaning, there is no contract that's been signed. It never was. So, Errol Spence went out here bullshit. He went out here making those stories lying. So, you can't put all that on PBC. Uh, it very well may be them as well. But, Errol Spence has a lot to do with it as well. So, people cannot be letting him off the hook. A lot of his fans, man, I need to start digging in his ass. And, you know what I'm saying? Put your foot down. And start holding Errol Spence accountable, bro. Because it's not just PBC. It ain't just Al Haven. It's not just the suits. It's also Errol Spence. He said he coming for those belts and all this other shit. I told everybody that was all... That was a bunch of rah-rah. Just for the fans of his, you know, to, to, to make it... You know, he's in his town. You know, he got to do that. I told y'all. I told y'all this. Now, look where we at. So, we about to be in October. Right, so we don't know exactly what's going on with this fight. It's gonna be announced or not. We saying we here November nineteenth, but then these cats ain't even signed no contract yet. You know what I'm saying? Um, so Errol Spence comes out and he tweets after Blue Blood dropped whatever he dropped. He trying to do damage control. I guess he attempted to, you know, uh, do damage control. So he comes out and he says on on, on Twitter. So, y'all, you want me to clear up what you, what you probably heard on YouTube, huh? LOL. First of all, ain't no probably heard. We did hear it. Not only did we hear it from Blue Blood Sports TV, also Bernie the Boxer was saying kind of the same thing. Basically saying it before Blue Blood was even talking about it. And then uh, uh, Terrence Crawford's sister Letitia Crawford, uh, she comes back, claps back at Errol Spence like, yep, we, want, we all want to hear this. And I was looking down the Twitter line. I even dropped a comment like, bruh, come on. I forgot what I even said. I, I said something. I'm saying, man, it's already almost October, man. Man, stop the bullshit. Something like that I said. But um, Letitia Crawford was leading down the line. I'm reading down there. I'm like, damn. His Errol Spence, even Errol Spence fans is, 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 is pressing him now. Like, bro, you, you got to say something, man. You, you out here looking real bad. And he is. Y'all here pump faking, man. Why he ain't been said? He, he dropped that message. All right, so clear it up. Are you planning to clear it up? You dropping a message, and we assuming you're going to clear it up right there. You get right to it, right? You the truth. So you should have cleared it up right there. Don't come down later on down the line 
He, well, why he didn't clear it up right there? Did he have to get permission from Al Haven? You know, to talk? Hey, come on, my nigga. Stop it, man. Y'all guys don't see the foolery, the fuckery, the fuckery coming from this dude. You know what I'm saying? And everybody been saying all of this. He's been trying to blame Terrence Crawford for everything. And it's pretty clear who's really holding up the fight. And I don't want to hear it's just PBC. It's also Errol Spence. Just my take. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. This your boy, Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later on the next one. And I'm out.